confrontation during a Sunday sermon in Brooklyn landed two people behind bars, including a bishop who argues he was protecting his family. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelo spoke with both people involved and has the video from Canarsie. We gonna pause right here. Amen. During a live we'll stream right Sunday here. service at Leaders we'll of Tomorrow right International here. Ministries, we'll Bishop Lamore Miller Whitehead appears to get disrupted. You wanna come preach? You wanna come preach? You wanna come preach? Come on up here. Come on up here. The bishop says it all started when two women came into the church mid-sermon. One of my ministers told them that you cannot record. You can't record and they began to make a scene. Police say when a woman was asked to stop recording and leave, she began to antagonize the bishop and approach him on stage. They take pictures and they want to be on social media. Take the pictures. Take the pictures. As she Take walks past Bishop Whitehead, he appears pictures. to grab her Take from behind pictures. and they move off camera. You've seen her walk in front of me, going at my wife and my daughter, and I grabbed her. He says he was worried about his family and thinking back to the moment in July when he was robbed at gunpoint during a sermon streamed live online. That's the only thing that I can remember. This lady had a bag under her arm and she was going after my wife. The woman in the video, 47-year-old Tarsha Howard, was arrested and charged with trespass and disrupting a religious service. She showed us her injury and made a brief statement. I am telling you right now that I did not charge after his wife. It's on video and everyone can see that I was the one that was assaulted. And after this statement, he will hear from my attorney. The bishop was also taken into custody, but shortly after released, now criticizing the NYPD's handling of the incident. I was treated like a criminal. So I went from the pulpit to the cell for no reason. The New York Police Department failed me and failed my church. The NYPD says because of crowd control, both the Bishop and Howard were taken to the 69th Precinct for further investigation. Bishop Whitehead says he wants the NYPD to take action so there are no copycat crimes. In Canarsie, Brooklyn, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. And the bishop says he believes this was all a setup. He says he thinks two bloggers sent the woman his way for clout. Both of the men, religious commentators, spoke with Jenna over the phone. One said he didn't know the women before this. The other says the women have been guests on his show, but he doesn't personally know them, and he had nothing to do with this incident.